going on out here? It's so freaking loud, dude. That shit does not even sound like a BMW motor. I don't think it's tuned yet after they put the new engine in. But he's getting it ready so they can take it to the dyno soon. What's up guys, thank you for watching another video. Obviously we're at 412 Motorsports. Sam is over here testing his car out. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys the roll cage because today, well yesterday we made a big, big improvement. Check this out guys. I didn't record it but me and Sam put another extra like two coats of white on here. A little bit of clear coat. And now it's really freaking white in here. It looks so freaking good. Woo! Yeah, right? Guys, we also took out these windows. In the last video, you guys saw these windows here. I took them out because it's a lot easier to spray without this window here. It's way easier to get to like this spot and a couple other spots. As you guys can tell, it's very, very hard to paint this thing. Like I said, we put a little bit of clear coat, but we bought some more. And tonight, we're going to spray the rest of the clear coat. We have a little bit of touch-up paint too because I think there's like a missing... We missed a spot right here. So we got some touch-up white paint and we got a bunch of clear coat that we're going to spray on here. Make it look super shiny. This is a huge, huge difference. I'm gonna put a picture right here of before and after of how it was. We covered up a lot. It's completely white now. The engine bay is actually done too. We're gonna add more clear coat, so it's gonna be even more glossy than it is. But goddamn, dude, Sam did a really good job yesterday. And then we drop a motor in here like this. And it's gonna look beautiful. When are you gonna take it to the dyno? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Can I go? Tomorrow, we go to Thursday. I'm down. <laughs> I think I might get these seats, guys. Real race car things. All right, guys, a lot of time has passed since the last time I filmed, but the car is done. The roll cage is done being painted, and it looks freaking amazing. Check this out. Damn, dude, it's so bright and super shiny. We put a whole like three or four coats of clear coat, so it's super shiny. I'll put my light so you can see. Here's the interior. It looks so freaking good. I'm so hyped how this thing came out. Guys, we're making progress. Big, big progress. Super, super shiny. It looks sick. Now we have to order these windows and the back window. Because we're probably going to do exactly the same windows as this. Just like Sam's car. Plexiglass. I just can't wait to put seats in here, the dash in, the door cars, the windows back on. It's going to look insane when all of that's put in and the car is wrapped. <laughs> I can't wait. It looks good, Sam. Thank you. Sam did a good job. If anyone wants their roll cage painted, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sam doesn't want to touch paint ever again in his life. This was so much work, dude. <laughs> but it looks great, dude. I'm so freaking hyped. Do you guys remember when I first came to the shop and I saw Joseph's car? And I was like, damn, dude, I want to build a drift car just like this. And we did it. Well, we're doing it. Don't do that. <laughs> Can I have your hood? Guys, I need a hood. If anybody has a hood or a trunk or front bumper for an E46 M3, please DM me on Instagram because we need a lot of stuff. We need a front bumper. We need a hood. We need a trunk. And we need headlights. So if anybody got those parts, please contact me because we need them ASAP. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait, dude. Like, every time he starts that car up, it gets me so freaking hyped. Oh my.
on his way and a couple other M3 guys. I haven't been to this drip track in so long. I think the last time I came here was like five years ago and I didn't even have a car at the time. So I'm pretty excited to go again. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be drifting, <laughs> not yet. But like I said, this track is very, very close to my house, probably like a 10 minute drive. So we're definitely gonna be coming here a lot more often when the E46 is done. But we're pulling up now. I think we're the first ones here. And it looks like we had to go off-roading a little bit, which is not gonna be good. <laughs> good luck, <food. laughs> I could air up. Dude, he just slammed his car. Look how low that shit is. Look who it is. Damn. There's another E30 over there too. And Joseph's car, damn. All the whips out here. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Like everyone's coming today or what? We got a whole squad out here. What's up, Sam? I made it. What's up with you? Why? Bro, you guys are on my side of town. Oh, for real? <laughs> Get us out here, holy oh shit. Oh my god. Bro, this is dope. Soon. Soon, soon, soon. What the? Everybody came or what? No, yeah. <laughs> four way two. This is these two. What's up, bro? Good. What's up? How are you? Good, good, good. yourself? <laughs> You should've just all drove, bro. We had a car meet out here. Kevin, I can't believe you came over here. I know, bro. Kevin's never <laughs> on this side of town. Here. You're far, bro. This ain't uh, Rodeo Drive, Kevin. No. I'm not the only car on bags. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. That thing is beautiful. V8 in it or what? It is. <laughs> God, that, that thing is sick. <laughs> Guys, I think this is Joseph's first time on the track. In the E46. All he does is like street drifting, drifts on the freeways and stuff, <laughs> but not on a track. Let's see how he does. Tough, some 240s, 350Zs, more Zs. E36, what? And Sam and Joseph. Sick ass food. That would be me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, it's Joseph's turn. <laughs> bro, first time ever on a track? Better than everyone else on the first time I'm trying. Here goes Sam. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I think he got too much power for this track, dude. <laughs>
That shit's so loud, bro. Hell yeah, brother! First time on a trip. <laughs> 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 Broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see him.